Yo, what's going on, everybody? You've seen the thumbnail, you've read the title, and today I want to talk about blindly defending Call of Duty and just kind of blindly defending any game with that regard. So, I don't know where this came, where this idea came from. I think I was just watching somebody and they randomly mentioned about how the people who, like, completely defend a game and don't criticize it at all are kind of less fans than those who criticize it. And I honestly thought that was really true, so I kind of wanted to talk about it. So with that being said, intro out of the way, let's get into the video, guys. Alright, so you may be saying, the people who blindly defend Call of Duty games, you know, wouldn't they be the bigger fans, wouldn't they be the super fans that they can enjoy every single game, regardless of all the problems? And while you could make an argument for that, I would make the other argument and say, well no, they're not really super big fans, because on one hand, they don't actually want the game to improve. If you are going to blindly defend every single Call of Duty game and call it the best, you don't want the game to improve. Somebody like me, for example, I am somebody who anybody who's watched my channel for a little bit knows that I criticize the absolute hell out of Call of Duty, alright? I criticize Modern Warfare all throughout its life cycle. I've pretty much always criticized Cold War since it came out as well. I criticize a lot of these games, and it's because I want to see them get better. It's because I love the franchise at the end of the day. I made an entire video on this, on how much I actually love the Call of Duty franchise, and that all of my complaining is completely out of love. So the people who, you know, sit back and say every game is the absolute best, don't acknowledge its flaws or anything like that, I would say are less fans, because they don't want to actually see the game improve. Now, yes, you could say, well, maybe they actually just think the game is perfect. And yeah, there's a case for that. But the majority of these people, you know, majorityly speaking, they don't. They actually just think that every single Call of Duty game is absolutely amazing. And there's two reasons why this could happen. One, they're naive, they haven't played, you know, older games, or they're young, or, you know, whatever, or they just genuinely love it. Or, they don't play it enough. They don't play the game enough to actually have any of the problems really get under their skin. Like, right now on Cold War, the reason why I'm not playing it so much is because the 7-4U is really starting to get under my skin again, because it's like the only gun you die to, because they refuse to nerf that weapon, and I'll probably make a whole video on that. Along with the 7-4U, there's a bunch of other things that piss me off in Cold War, like shotgun secondaries, frag spam, things I've complained about constantly on this channel if you've watched it. I complain about all these things because I want to see the game get better. I think the game has potential and I think it's going to get better. Whereas people who will blindly defend these games, they, they don't want to see the game get better or they think it's perfect. Now, again, there's multiple reasons why, and this seems so backwards. It seems completely backwards, and I know it does. But you gotta think of it logically. If somebody is loves a franchise enough to constantly complain about problems about it, it's because they want it to be the absolute best it could possibly be. And if somebody blindly defends a game, they don't care that much about it. They just think it's really, really good, and they're almost saying to themselves that they're content with problems in the game. Like, if you're gonna blindly defend Cold War, you're saying, oh, I'm perfectly fine with skill-based matchmaking, I'm perfectly fine with shotguns whipping out at random times and just getting one-shotted up at close range, I'm perfectly fine with frag spam, I'm perfectly fine with stun spam, I'm perfectly fine with field mic, trophy system, all that. Like, you're perfectly fine with all of that stuff. You don't want anything changed, you know? Like, it's basically saying that, oh, I'm completely content with the game, I don't care if it has glitches or bugs or is virtually really frustrating, I don't care. That's essentially what you're saying, and I know I'm being hyperbolic slightly here, but am I really, like, am I really being hyperbolic here? Because this is pretty much what these people are saying. And while they're not saying it in these exact words, it is essentially the exact same thing. Because if you're not going to complain about something, you're saying that it's fine, right? That, that's the end. That's pretty much the end of it. If you're not going to say anything, you're saying that it's fine. If you're not going to speak out against something that you don't like, you are basically saying that, oh, I'm content with it, I just don't want to go through the frustrations of speaking out in order to get something better. That, that's essentially what you're saying. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Basically, at the end of the day, I essentially think, yeah, people who blindly defend the game are way less of fans than people who will criticize it all day long. So yeah, that's been the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Drop a like, sub the channel, turn on post notifications, and uh, yeah. I will see you guys all later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.